Hello everyone, my name is Nikola and you're watching Reaper and Life. This is my first video where you can actually hear me and I plan to do a complete series of these. Today I'm gonna show you how to install and use a very cool script for Reaper called Folder Items. It's a script created by Buffus or Bfus, a user from Reaper forum and it's modified by me. First, let's open Cubase. I wanna show you the feature that inspired creation of this script. Maybe you know that when you move audio or MIDI tracks to a folder in Cubase, these so-called data blocks are created. And basically they allow you to manipulate the contents of children tracks directly from folder tracks. This means that when you move data block to another position in your project, all corresponding children items will also be moved. Data blocks can be copied, trimmed, split, merged and deleted. You can clearly see that this feature is very cool because you can close the folder and still be able to edit the items. Nesting folders inside other folders is also supported, so this kind of workflow allows you to create infinitely complex projects, but you will still be able to get around easily. It's a shame that this can't be done in Reaper by default, but on the other hand Reaper is so customizable that only sky is the limit, so a couple of us decided to make this possible. Don't get confused, this is still Reaper 5, I'm just using a custom theme called Hydra. I'll leave the link in description so you can download it if you like it. Anyway, we have a little project here which will be used to explain how folder item script works in Reaper. For those of you who don't know, Reaper does not have track types, so any track can actually become a folder track. You should be aware that this does not stop you from adding audio or MIDI items to a folder track. That's one of the unique things in Reaper but this feature will not be useful for the purpose of our script, so you should organize your project in a way that does not include items on folded tracks. The problem, at least for me, with Reaper folders is that they cannot be closed completely. They have three states, opened, collapsed and super collapsed. That's fine if you have a small project, but when you add something like 200 tracks to a folder and you try to close it, you can see right away that it becomes a problem because it takes a lot of space. Sure, you can hide tracks, but that is a completely different story. I want to be able to use folders like in Cubase. And the first step towards making that kind of behavior possible is to modify your theme. So to do this, click on Options menu, Show Reaper Resources Path and then open Color Themes folder. Inside you should find your theme and open its Reaper Theme zip file. I use 7-zip, but if you're on Mac or on Linux, you'll probably use something else. Just make sure to associate this file type with your archiver software. Here you must find RT configuration text file. Double click to open it and search for TCP height. This is the line that needs to be modified. So here duplicate it, comment the original with semicolon for backup, just type in zero, save the file, close it and update Reaper theme zip file. Okay, after this you need to refresh your theme. You can do that by loading another theme and then loading back your theme or just restart Reaper. Now you can close the folders completely. Maybe you're asking yourself, why is this not the default setting? There's actually a problem with this. If you make marquee selection like this, you're not aware, but you actually selected all children items on this position. It means that you can change something without even noticing, like deleting the items. Now this is the main reason we must have folder item script if we want to close folders completely. So let's turn it on with simple click of a button. Folder items are now created like in Cubase and will be updated in real time. Now you can edit your audio or MIDI items and folder items will automatically be updated. Moving folder items will move all corresponding items as expected. You can also copy folder items. You can copy parts of folder items and cut parts. And of course you can delete folder items. Now we can completely close folders and we'll still be aware of what's going on inside them. Nesting folders also works, so now you can put as many tracks as you like into your project. That being said, you should be aware of the fact that this script is still in development and that there are some known and unknown issues. For instance, you should avoid trimming folder items because it does not behave like in Cubase. It will do some weird stuff to your project and if you're not careful things can easily go wrong. Also avoid splitting folder items because it's very unpredictable. And finally beware of hidden tracks. This script is not designed to move items on hidden tracks so be extremely careful. 
There are probably more things that are buggy than I said and if you notice something that's wrong feel free to write about it on Reaper forum. First you need to have Repack installed. If you don't know what it is then check the info in description. After that go to Extensions, Repack, Manage Repositories. Click Import Export, Import Repositories. In here type in this link, click OK and in a few moments you should see LKC tools on the bottom of your list. You can now close this window and then again go to Extensions, Repack but this time click Browse Packages. In this field search for Folder Items and you should see this line over here that says Folder Items, current version 1.03 and the authors are BFO and LKC. Right click this line and select Install. Click OK and that's it. Now when you open your action list there should be BFO and LKC folder items.lua. This is a toggle script so when you run it the first time it will enable folder items and when you run it the second time make sure that you check remember my answer for this script and click terminate instances. This is the last thing you need to do, now you're ready to go. You will also get one more useful action, LKC toggle faint peaks in folder tracks, so you can quickly show or hide them without opening preferences window. That's it for today, thank you for watching, if you like the content subscribe to this channel and I'll do my best to continue making these videos. Till the next time, enjoy using Reaper, bye!